In this video, we will be discussing the onion skinning feature in Harmony. Once activated, the onion skin will show us what comes before and after the frame we are currently on in our timeline. Onion skinning helps us plot our animation as we work. But first, let's pull up the onion skin view, as we will be using it throughout the course of this video. If it's not currently showing for you, just go up in the corner and click on the little plus and drop down to onion skin. Next, we can enable the onion skin by clicking its icon in the toolbar over here or by clicking on the icon down in whatever layer we wish to enable it on down here in our timeline. We can also add elements into our onion skin by clicking their onion skins as well. But for now, let's just stick with this layer. So let's enable it and we already have it on. And now that we have it on, you can see that there are handles down here in our timeline that we can adjust to our liking to show us again what comes before and after. Now these are color coded. By default, what comes before is in red, like so, and what comes after is green. And I'm just adjusting these handles, and Harmony is showing me what comes before and after. Right now, the onion skin is set to by frames, which means it will add and subtract to the onion skin on a frame by frame basis. We can change this to display in drawings by going up to our onion skin view hitting the drop down box and choosing by drawings. You may notice that our handlebars down here in the timeline are gone. This is because the onion skin is showing us the drawings that are coming before and after regardless of how many frames there may be from our current point in time. And again, this may be a little more useful for traditional animation. To help highlight that a little bit more, let's just maybe change this back to by frames. And I'll take my handlebar like so, bring it a little tighter. And if I just hit the plus button down here on my numerical keypad, I'm going to push the next exposure down here in time pretty far. I'm doing it on purpose pretty far so that you guys can see. And even if I take this handle, and again, we're using by frames. If I pull it down pretty far in time, it's still not really grabbing the next available drawing, we're still only seeing our current drawing. Again, that's because it's still counting the onion scan by the frames. If I change this to, say, by drawings, suddenly we have a lot because it doesn't. it's no longer taking into account the amount of exposures between one drawing and the next. It's simply going to the next available drawing, regardless of where it is in time. So let's just pull this back to where it was, like so. So now let's activate our advanced onion skin. And we can do this from the fly up menu on the onion skin icon over here in the toolbar by just clicking and holding. And we you can choose show advanced onion skin. We can also do the same thing by clicking the icon up here in our onion skin view to enable advanced onion skin. We can use these numbers along the top to pick and choose particular drawings or frames depending upon the setting that we have in our drop down here. So if we know we want to add a particular drawing and maybe omit others, we can do so here simply by clicking these drawings. And again, these are the drawings that came before. These are the drawings that came after. And again, just to reiterate, I have my onion skin setting set to by drawings. This allows us to have up to 10 drawings before and 10 drawings after. As a shortcut, you can also click and drag across to extend or take away simply by clicking and drag. The sliders here allow for more fine control over how much opacity a particular drawing will display in the onion skin. So right now they're linked, meaning if we change just one, all of them will change along together respectively. Um, if we want, we can unlink them by going up to the menu icon up here, dropping down, and unchecking link sliders. And that will allow us to independently control the opacity of an individual drawing of our choosing. So as an example here, we can maybe just add three drawings right now. Let's get rid of any of the ones in front of us. And if we wanted to, let's just tick five. That's a lot. It's getting pretty heavy in there. If we wanted to, we can maybe say, pull out some of the opacity of drawing number two, pull out the opacity of drawing number five, and maybe just kind of pull down one a little bit. 
and concentrate more on three. So this gives us way more control over just fine tuning how we want to see the opacity of our drawings within our onion skin. And we can kind of put them back together again just by click, clicking on link sliders. And then just by manipulating one, they all snap back together again. So the slider in the middle here is our one slider to rule them all. It controls the transparency of all of these sliders together. And of course, as with the rest of them, it can be manipulated as we need as we work. So moving along, we might notice these red and green boxes here. Now these control the default colors of our onion skinning. Um, so if we wanted to, we can change it to green or you know whatever our heart may be, our heart's desire. I'm gonna hit cancel because I actually kind of like it the way that it is right now. Finally, we have these buttons down here along our onion skin view. These allow for even further fine tuning of what we see in our onion skin. Say we have our marked, we're using marked drawings within our animation. That is to say, we're using our key drawings, our breakdown drawings, and so forth. We can use these to filter out what the onion skin will display. So if, uh, and as you can see, look down here before I move forward, uh, just to point out a lot of all these red dots and blue dots, these are denoting key drawings and breakdown drawings. So let's just add a bunch of, let's just say five in every direction. And that's a pretty lot of information going on right there. I'll keep my master opacity somewhat in the middle so we can get a nice mix. If I wanted to just concentrate on only the keys and again, I have them marked off, and you can do so as an aside by going into right clicking in any gray area here in our camera view and just dropping down to mark drawing. And that allows us to choose, uh, allows us to mark a particular drawing. Um, getting back to our demonstration here, if we went, if we wanted to just add the key drawings to our audience, and we just click on the K, which will now it's just showing us the first five and the next five keys. If I turn that off and just go to the B, that's just showing me the breakdowns. And if I turn that off and just hit I, now it's just showing me the in-betweens. Now the next three that you may say here, it looks like a K, R, a K, B, and a K. Oh, pardon me, an K, R, a K, B, R, and an I, R. And these stand for retake. And what that would mean is if your director has uh, given you a note on a particular piece of animation, uh, this would just show the retake keys or the retake breakdowns or any retake in-betweens you may have in your scene. I have none. Uh, none of them are tagged uh, with, with any of those marked markers, so nothing is showing for me. And that about wraps up our tutorial on the onion skin. Thank you very much for joining me.